Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. And uh, first of all, happy new year to all of you. For, and uh, in this video, we are going to create a activation of a fridge, a 3D fridge of a drink. So let's get it started. First of all, I have 3D Studio Max and I'm just going to take a box and I will draw this box as per my settings according to that about 2 and 2 feet and uh, 2.6 feet 2.6 feet and height will give 2 inch which is the floor of this fridge and uh, the next step is this I'm just going to take a duplicate by holding shift key and I'm going to rotate and place it to the behind and after placing the behind I'm going to increase the uh, length of uh, it approx 5 feet which means my fridge is 5 feet tall it in, in the height and now uh, the next step so I'm gonna take a rectangle from the spline object and uh, I'm going to set on the same settings a little bit low in height So I think that was enough. I'm going to make them into the center and convert them into a spline. Take the vertex and make them fill it like this. So this is going to be outlines, which is going to create some borders of this. And now I'm going to make them extrude with extrude modifier and place it. So this will be my fridge place where I'm going to have our drinks on this. So I'm going to increase some floor size because uh, it should be. Now we have created the basic structure of this product. I'm going to import and merge the bottle, which is I have already model. So I'm going to place the bottle here. And uh, I'll set the vertices of this box and I'm going to duplicate the bottle. Uh, as a three rows because I'm going to, okay once again this is much better so the bottle will set on this uh, occasion I'm going to delete as well once again duplicate rotate them and set aside on the right left side of this fridge as a decorative piece so here it is so I'm going to set them and then I will have to convert them into edible poly. Select the edges, take two connection and uh, after that just select the vertex and set the behind like this. Just for the decoration, it's just for the decoration. So now take another rectangle and draw this rectangle on the left side on the I mean on the other side of this fridge convert them into spline and make them fill it by making them smooth and uh, I will set this on this side this is the left side so make their position perfect after that I'm just gonna make them extrude and after extrude I'm gonna set them and uh, H to H. Now right click convert to editable poly, take the H tool, add the connection on the top, and then take the polygon, make them extrude by this so it will connect here. So now this is uh, good. I'm going to take the cylinder to make it curve. Sorry, to make a circle. So just adjust here. And after adjusting, just first attach both of them to each other, then take the polygon tool select their polygons by 4 by 4 oh I think I did some mistake 
I need to attach these both. I have attached everything. So take the polygons tool, take the polygons tool, make them bridge. So it will connect. After that, after the connection, you want to edit some. So it's up to you. This is not a mandatory. So I have already connect them and uh, trying to adjust them. This is perfect. So it's the time to import some object. I'm going to take another cylinder and draw them here. That's perfect from here. And uh, I will take uh, these tags, which is called 2020 and 2022, and it's orange ring logo. The both things I'm going to save as a file but one thing that you have to take illustrator 8 version now import them so it will come directly in your um, 3d wax viewport which is this scale the size and uh, rotate them adjust them according to the surface and after that you just need to produce extrude modifier to make them extrude so this fridge has a great 2022 logo. I think it looks great. This here is time I'm going to import logo. So my logo will come something like this. I scale up the size and I'm going to make them extrude. So this is orange logo. Convert them into the editable poly and select the polygons, select the logo, not both, only one, and make them detach. It will be separate from the with the help of detach. So we can assign different materials on them. Like this. So we have the great uh, modeling right now. I'm gonna make them group and place on the top and I'll have to place on the uh, right side as well but first set the top good I'm going to rotate them and place on this line like this and uh, finally we have uh, done this I think there's something is mistaken here. I'm gonna delete this. This is the extra for me. So, oops, there was a mistake. I think it's okay. We don't need to deal with it more. Unhide all and set them. So now the next step is uh, just to add some screen behind. So I'm gonna take two connection by poly and uh, two connection by poly from vertical as well because this time I will select the screen make them extrude inside to define itself that it is the screen okay so I'm going to start texturing for that purpose I'm going to texture first bottle so we have several part of bottle I'm going to take material editor, assign the material from here and I have this lemon slice textures. I'm going to make this texture in Photoshop like this and for that purpose I will save this and now I will assign here by assign produce UVW map and set the map like this with the help of UW map. Play, you have to play with some values. All right, uh, so that was good. Okay. Uh, 
All right, so the next turn is my bottle. I'm gonna select the top of the bottle and I will give the color. Normally used to be the orange because it is the orange drink, orange juice. Okay, here I'm gonna assign the texture which is I've created on Photoshop, this one. So again, I will set through the UVW map. Okay, give them a same color. So my bottle is ready. On this part, I'm gonna give the same color with some reflection is all right. <clears throat> it's up to you that you want to adjust UAW map in this part. Okay, I'm gonna place the white color. Okay. white color and give some reflection, but I will select the logo and place orange color. So these are going to be differentiated to each other. Close the group. Now, on my this part, I'm gonna assign white color because I will place some drinks in it and the other part has to be orange. Okay, select these polygons. I'm gonna assign V-Ray two side material because I'm gonna place the light inside of it. and here as well. So these will going to glow actually. I'm gonna assign UV two as material, the same orange color. So this part is going to glow actually. And on the screen, I will have to assign another material. This one. So set the U through the UAW map and uh, adjust. So now that's perfect. This is perfect. Uh, now this time is to duplicate the bottles because fridge has to be filled with the bottles. So by holding shift key, you can duplicate them like this. So my fridge is full with these bottles and uh, I'm going to select all of them, make a duplicate, and make another duplicate. So I will place the box under of this bottle because these bottles are lying on this board. So I will have to create this box. It's like a shelf or it's like a rack in the fridge. That's good. And uh, now I will have to assign orange color on it and I will place my logos. Okay, so take the logo duplicate, scale down and adjust on these strips like this. Perfectly adjust. Okay, make them orange. So this looks beautiful on the orange, then white, then orange. Same procedure I'm gonna apply on this one. It looks good. Okay, so duplicate these logos here and then here. Okay, this, I forgot to fill this one. Make them white color and orange color. And now we have created this beautiful fridge and uh, this time I'm gonna apply lights. So you can take video light and make them a light in a square shape. And I'm gonna assign on this part because uh, this 2022 has to be glow. So I'm gonna assign this one here. I'm gonna text this one, happy new year. All right. And uh, you need to place on their perfect place. I'm gonna make them centralize, I think. Impact font. I will assign impact font. And uh, assign extrude modifier to make them 3D.
Now place it here on the top. Make them center and on the top it will going to be great like Happy New Year 2022. Assign the same material on it. Okay. Okay, I'll glow this. I'll increase the size of light because I also want to glow Happy New Year. Okay, I'm gonna glow this orange logo as well. So we'll place orange logo light also here. From this side. Okay. So now we'll have to make a group. And uh, let's uh, create a simple and short story light setup. I'm gonna apply camera on the front. So I can see the view of camera from this side. Okay, I'm going to create a cylinder. And inside of a cylinder, I will place a texture, gray color. And after the gray color, you can see inside of it. So let's make them smooth. I'm going to place convert to poly and delete them. And I'll, I will insert them because insert will create some edges and some uh, detail holding facilities. So create some edges from top to bottom as well, like this. So I will have to make them uh, proper smooth. That's why I'm adding these kind of details. Apply mesh smooth and it will going to be mesh smooth. Okay, so take duplicate of this bridge and uh, rotate them because I want to show every angle of this bridge. Okay, I found something uh, to adjust the light inside of my bottom. Okay. So now I will take the duplicates of this fridge, rotate them because I want to show every angle, every, every angle of this fridge from left, from right and from the back side. Okay, select all of them, make them centralize. Little bit you have to zoom in. And now adjust them. Here. So I'm gonna apply top light on all of them. So it will glow up properly. And then the next step is to take the renders. As you can see that these are going to get glow. I think uh, I'm going to give the settings more and follow these settings. Just place on this on expert mode and make them bucket and nothing else. You just need to increase, decrease the low level. That's it. And now you may take this beautiful renders. Furthermore, you can add some glasses on this uh, fridge door, some more lights on it. So thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you learned. Wish you a great happy new year. Thank you so much.